Hello, Sagittarius. Good afternoon from a rainy day. This is going to be your full moon and Taurus tarot reading and oracle card. Uh, I'll do a general Celtic cross with the energy deck and the tarot rider weight deck. And I'll be pulling first a few cards from the tea fortune, tea leaf fortune cards. And then at the end, I'll do the guardian angel. So Sagittarius, if you have not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. It helps keep me motivated and inspired to do these. But Sagittarius, let's talk. We've got the full moon in Taurus coming up. On the 31st, it will be at 11, 11.53 p.m. Eastern Time. It will bring up lots of repressed emotions. Two more. Lots of repressed emotions will get brought up to the top. People could be a little bit hypersensitive, possibly overreacting around you. Just be aware of it. You can change it. You can alchemize it if you're aware of it. It will be a blue moon, which has significance if you want to Google that. It's significant for making us face and deal with our shadow side. Sagittarius, let's begin. We have scales. Keep your life in balance, and it could be dealing with the Libra if we see that. Dog far away means a distant friend is thinking of you. We've got the month of January, if that means something to somebody. Probably does since I pulled it. And ant. Work, achievement, and success. Yeah, ants are always busy, right? Busy building. Then flag. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. Don't lower that flag. Don't settle, Sagittarius. Are you settling for something in your life that you could be making better? Spirit says don't do that. Don't do that. Keep your life in balance. And Rose. Romance is in the air. All right. Sagittarius, we got some romance in the air. That's good. Not really distant friends thinking of you. Nothing really negative. Just showing some hard work. Thinking of friends. Romance. Something. Something happening in... January. This card is going to be the theme of your Celtic cross or Sagittarius spirit for the higher good. Woo. Goddess of the moon. Sometimes the Pisces card, sorry about that. Sometimes the card of uh, the sign of Pisces, if I can talk. Ooh, sorry, we're retrograde out now, and um, I can tell, I can tell. Goddess of the moon, very intuitive, using your intuition. You might feel like you're getting more in touch with your intuition the closer that moon is appearing in your life. Spirit, help us get some cards for Sagittarius for the 30th and 31st of October for the full moon in Taurus. Okay, what is challenging your intuition is the fact that you are tired and burned out, overworking, or overly burdened. Overly burdened. It's your energy, so you're in your energy, but you're burdened. This card, though it has that meaning attached to it, it also is attached to with ten, with the um, ending of the ending of a hard time. Maybe being stressed was affecting your intuition. That can happen. And we have Lady Luck on your side, the Wheel of Fortune have a little bit of the same elements from Cancer's 
chariot card. A little bit of intuition. There's your shadow side. We have Leo on here. We have Taurus. All right, so this is something that's lucky. That, that This is something that's just fated to be. That your intuition is going to get better. You're going to have a little bit more clarity. We are going to put in the past our five of pentacles. Someone feeling left out in the cold. Having to be under times of high financial difficulty or strain. We're putting that in the past in this position. I like seeing that in that position because you have dealt with it and then you can surrender it. Your present theme, the five of wands, there's conflict, there's confrontation, there's competition going on. I'm clarifying it, and I clarified it with the magician. So presently, you have that ability to manifest what you want to manifest into your life. Just know that if it doesn't happen right away, there is some competition. It does not mean that you're not going to succeed. You probably will with the magician being here. It's just telling you that it's going to be a little bit, it's going to feel like a little bit of a struggle. Your biggest struggle is behind you, though, with the Five of Pentacles in the past. If King of Swords, this can be authority, the judicial, judicial bleh, system. It can be a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, male energy. Somebody that uses their head. They won't really express their emotions to you, but theirs are all in check. They're sitting pretty on their throne. For the how are you feeling? We have the Six of Pentacles. Feeling like charity. Feeling like helping. Feeling like, look, there's those scales again. Balance, balancing the scales. Keeping something in your life even. An equal give and take of energy. So put plainly, either you are giving somebody money to help them out or you're getting money to help you out. In your external, we have the empress, so somebody's mother or somebody that's sitting in their power, a very lucky person. Somebody who is all four queens wrapped into one. That is in your surrounding the uh, hopes and fears, we have the two of wands. This can be about disappointment in a job. Disappointment, it, it's, it's like you're going to fear letting yourself down, if that makes any sense. Having focus, drive direction, that inspirational direction. Then in your outcome, Sagittarius, woohoo, Knight of Wands, some, something is moving fast. Whatever you're working on here, it's coming in really fast for you. And I think it's your intuition and maybe some psychic ability. It's coming in fast. Could be another Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, but I don't think it's that. I really think it's this. Let's draw a angel card for you. See if maybe we can add another layer to this reading. So, for Sagittarius, Spirit, give us one card for Sagittarius. For Sagittarius. Oh goodness, too many. But one is face up, so we will take the face up one. Angel of challenges, and that makes sense because we have the competition with the magician there. That just makes sense. 
I will read from the book for you. And then four is the number. And four is the number of foundations, sturdy foundations, family. Okay, it says the challenges you are currently experiencing will only make you stronger. You have received this card because your angels are aware of your current situation. You may be presented with a challenge that will make you question your life's journey and at times your reason for being on this earth. There is a saying, that which doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Trust in your angel of challenges and you will discover that no matter how hard things get, you will get through this. You may even unleash an inner strength within you that you didn't know you even possessed. During this time of challenge, call in your angel of challenges and ask him to guide and assist you with making the best decision to resolve your current challenge. By calling in your angel and surrendering the challenge, you will be surprised by the love, guidance, and support that he will share with you in your time of need. Affirmation, I have all the strength and determination I need to overcome the challenges I am being presented with at the moment. Beautiful, nice reading Sagittarius. I just see some needing to put effort and to push on through whatever challenge this is and you'll be just fine. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day or night, whatever it is for you.